Hello, this is Psycho Rage with Grepax.com. Uh, recently, I ran into an issue with one of my GeoForce 9500 GTs. <laughs> Old, I know. Uh, the graphics card started to make a very loud noise when in operation. Uh, this really bothered me. Uh, I wanted to fix it right away and wanted to resolve the issue. I browsed the interwebs for suggestions and found a few that suggested several things, uh, such as cleaning my card, which I already did. Uh, taking it apart and cleaning it more in, uh, in depth, which I did as well, or turning down the fan. Uh, th this is not an option for this particular graphics card. It only has two pins for the fan. Um, for you, those of you that might not know, uh, fans come in two pin, three pin, and four pin form. Uh, two pins do not have variable speed control or uh, temperature statistics. Uh, after further research, I determined that I could either A, add oil to my graphics card bearing, or B, replace the fan on the GPU with a quieter fan, such as a Corsair or a, a Noctua. Uh, I did not have any spare fans laying around, though, and I wanted running, uh, I was running out of patience here. I wanted to get this done and fixed as soon as possible, uh, you know, outside of actually replacing the card. So I decided to tear my graphics card apart again for the third time this week and add some oil into the bearings. Uh, just a little disclaimer, don't break your stuff and use caution uh, and your own discretion here. Here's how I did it in my results. Uh, first, I removed the screw from the back of the GPU holding the heatsink and fan on. Then I removed the thermal paste from the GPU and the heatsink with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, then I retrieved some oil, uh, or machine oil is what they recommend, but I didn't have any laying around, so I said, you know, why not? Science, it should work. Uh, I removed the sticky label from the back of the GPU fan to expose the bearings slash bushings. Uh, I held it back with a screwdriver because, you know, stuff. Uh, <laughs> I used a child medicine syringe to apply oil in small qu quantities to the bearings on the back of the fan. I did toss that syringe afterwards. We probably wouldn't want to clean it and use it again. Uh, this allowed the fan to, to spin freely to the touch um, as opposed to before. Uh, I then cleaned up any oil that I spilled and I added a small bit of super glue to the back thinking I could put the sticker on. Now you want to be careful if you do this. You don't want to lock your fan up if you put oil in the wrong spot. Uh, but for me, this didn't work anyway. Um, it, it didn't, it heaves what a uh, heave, uh, it didn't work as good adhesive to the back. So I went ahead and I discovered to cover the label, um, with some electrical tape, which uh, adhered quite well. Um, you can still hear the fan when the, the results, uh, is that you can still hear the fan when it's running, but it is way quieter than it used to be. Uh, here's a before and after clip of the fan. Now, as you can see here, before I did anything, the fan was a lot louder. Now, post-operation and everything that I did, the fan is a lot quieter. Might be a little bit hard to hear from the video, but trust me, this technique will work if done correctly and will quiet your fan in lieu of having to go out and replace your graphics card. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog at www.grephacks.com for cool tips and tricks on things to do with Chromebooks, computers, uh, and all things technology. This is Psycho Rage. Signing off.